I totally destroyed my kid's bathroom right before the holidays to give it a much needed update. Goodbye useless socket and 50 year old cabinets and hello gorgeous new ones from RTA Cabinet Store. This was by far the easiest part of the whole project. I've used these cabinets in my kitchen and laundry room and always enjoy my experience with super simple assembly, free designers, and gorgeous quality. It just doesn't get any better. Peep that soft close. I am so proud of how far this space has come, but we still have tons left to do, so let's get to it. Next, I tackled the crown molding, which I still really don't understand how to do, but somehow figured it out, and now... It's time for sinks. I cut into the new countertop with my jigsaw and dropped them right in, which was almost too easy. How pretty is this faucet? I started taping off a striped accent wall to add a little whimsy, but now I'm totally stuck on mirrors, so help me out, which style should I pick? Meanwhile, the stripes turned out so cute and it's totally giving Eloise at the Plaza or 2000s Victoria's Secret but I think it's gonna be so darling. Now my project is snowballing into the shower area where I impulsively decided to remove this bulky cabinet so that I can fully open the door. Then I dove into this shower makeover that only cost me $40 with this tub and tile paint kit. You just mix the two solutions together and paint, but don't make the mistake of getting too excited and not cleaning first like me. I even went right over the grout lines. The fumes were really strong, so wear a mask and switch the foam roller often because the paint eats it. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried this was all going south, but after the second coat, it was looking really good. The paint self-leveled, but I guess we won't know for sure until it cures. Next up, it's all the finishing touches, shower glass, and then finally the reveal is coming.